Hello, welcome back to another speed build. In this video, I have built a tiny home residential in the middle of Oasis Springs. It is a 20 by 15 lot, one bedroom, one bathroom. It's just a cute little lot for your Sims to start off with because I needed a house for my Sims to start off with. It's got a mid-century kind of vibe, as you can see with the half, what would you call those roofs? The half triangle roofs? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it'll have like a fancy name like gabled, angled. But yeah, it's just this nice little mid-century home across the street from Johnny Zess house, which I built for my sim. So here I am. Oh, and yeah, this is a base game only speed build, meaning if you have base game, you will be able to play with this no matter what. Might be contradictory because of contradictory because of the tiny <laughs> because of the tiny home residential lot type, but you can still play if you only have base game. It just won't have all the perks that come with type being having that come with having a tiny home, such as I think double skill gain, double relationship gain, good gardening, less bills. It's a lot. Which is why I did it. So yeah, modern windows for this cute little build. This, I, because I wanted to go with an interesting shape, as you can see, the little cutouts, the like garden on the roof, um, fitting in the tiny home, fitting all the stuff a sim needs into this home was a little bit more difficult. Usually I'm very easy with tiny homes, I usually build them a lot because this dude cannot finish a legacy to save his life, but yeah, this one was a bit difficult because of that awkward cutout that you just saw. Yeah, but here it is. The outside took a little while to put together. This is sped up by 2.5 and it took me two minutes. Whoa, what's 2.5 um, times two? Five minutes to do this. I mean, that's not that bad. But yeah, here it is, putting in some paths for your sims to walk by. Let me get into my sim, who I created this for. As I said, this build is across from Johnny Zest, who if you don't know, because I know some people will not know, um, he is a famous comedian in The Sims 4. He's pretty much a flop. He's not very famous. Actually, <laughs> yeah, he is not famous. People do not know him. No, never. And the sim in this house is a entertainer, but he is more interested in the music side of entertaining, such as guitar, singing, all of that. And he's Johnny Zest's rival. They hate each other, right? They hate each other. But there's also some type of chemistry there. How, how, I know Johnny Zest is not attractive, but for some reason, there is chemistry there. So yeah, that's what's going on. My sim is a guitar player who is crushing and hating on Johnny Zest. And this is his house. As you can see in the back wall of this lot, I tried doing some more geometric wallpapers, which usually I don't do. Usually I kind of go basic with the wallpapers. But I thought these fun shapes would be fun, considering this is a mid-century build. Do not worry, those fun shapes will funnily enough come back. Fun. Anyway, yeah, so I'm testing out um, a Get Famous bed, but I remember, oops, this is going to be base game. There's that awkward cutout, it gets shrunk again, because I needed that extra tile. If you didn't know, tiny houses, they can only be a hundred tiles. Well, there's three tiers. Tier one, tiny. Tier two, small. And tier three micro, I don't know, that that was in the wrong order, somebody will correct me, but 32 tiles is the smallest amount, so I aimed for the smallest so I can get all the perks. Just in case you are an overachiever in The Sims like me, I try to get everything done pretty quickly. So yeah, that's, I gave it 32 tiles just so I could get all the bonuses. Yeah. The basic layout has been set up. The kitchen is in it. 
the bathroom is a tight squeeze and I fiddle with it a lot. It's actually annoying me because I've had to re-record this audio like three times now because of my loud family. It's annoying me how much I've seen this bathroom get rearranged. <laughs> it is very frustrating to say the least. But yeah, this is a cute little apartment. Apartment? What am I talking about? This is a cute little micro home. And because it's so small, so prison like, you can see the dining table getting put in. I was proud of that. A dining table in a tiny home? Woo! Privilege. Um, because it's such a micro home, it kind of almost looks like a prison, like a shoebox. So I thought some fun little decoration like the movie poster, the sunflower picture would make it look cute, more human. Do not worry, I add more, not just like three pieces of decorations. I fill the walls with decorations just to li liven it up, to give this entertainer some zest, some Johnny zest. Um, here I am, fiddling with the wallpaper. I go, I flip between these basic colours and then also the patterns, but I think I keep all the wallpapers. Like, I pick four and I stick to them. I try out the woods, I try out the tiles, but I just go back to these dots, the newspapers, and the green wood panels. And then that's it. Oh yeah, and this like sandy one. Add in some lights. And this building might look a little bit basic now, but once I add in the warm lighting, it looks so good. It does wonders to this build. It makes it look so cozy, so great. I try to fit in a wardrobe. Then I realized, mm, no, I should try and get a mirror instead because that's less tiles, but you can do the same things. And then as I'm trying to get a mirror in, you'll see it's such a struggle, even with these little ones. And you can't size them down, you can't do nothing. So it is very difficult on me, but I did it. I did it. God bless America, because I did it. I, I'm not even American, sorry. Sorry to the Americans out there. Um, I didn't forget a bin. I almost put it next to the bed. The bed. The bed. The bed. The bed. But then I realized that was very trashy. A, a little bit too trashy. I know this is the lower class part of Oasis Springs, but let's try and, you know, set some standards. Because there's no dresser, I put in these wall hangings of hoodies. I think they look decent. They substitute a dresser. And honestly, I think they look better than a dresser. Because they just have more detail. Here's the decor that I promised you. I added in a little gay flag because... Um, the sim I made this was for gay, and they were a different type of gay, if you get what I mean, because Johnny Zest is not attractive, and I hate to say it, but he is not funny, so this person has got to be, like, very, very, like, oof, like, very desperate for a man, because, <laughs> oof, this has become, like, a Johnny Zest hate club, but, hmm, I don't know, do people... Do Simmers like Johnny Zest? I know some people use him for babies. That sounds really bad if you're not a Simmer and you're watching this. But I know some people use him for their Sims to have babies with. But do people actually like him? I don't know. I don't know. He always came off as like a brat to me. I don't really like him. But I am playing with him in this save file. So that's fun. That's fun. I add in some books so your sim can read in here. I tried to fill it up with a lot of activities. If you didn't notice, there's a guitar, books, TV, computer, and now a hot tub. I really wanted to add in a hot tub because this is giving Don Lofario vibes. If I wasn't going for, you know, the entertainer vibes with like the musician, that I definitely would have gone with Don Lafario, like Playboy, Bachelor Pad type thing. But I still added in the hot tub because this is Waste of Springs, it gets hot. Wait. Hot tubs are hot. They don't cool you down. Do people in deserts have hot tubs to like refresh? I don't know, I had a hot tub for like three months and then it broke. But yeah, I added it in because I thought it'd be cute outside. 
I scroll for debug for a little bit to get some plants because we have no money. But then I realized I used the wrong debug sheet and just put in nonsense. I try to fit in a pond so you can fish because as I said, I wanted a lot of things to do, but it was not happening. Was not happening. And for some reason, I wasn't willing to move the lot back. The lot like backwards to fit in the pond. So no, no pond. But there is a cute little outdoor space. There's a hot tub, there'll be some seats soon. And some bushes. It won't be barren, it won't be barren. Do not worry. I figure out the right cheat to get free plants. I do not give up. Here's some gardening spots. I forgot about those, so I did add in some gardening. So this build actually has a lot packed into it. You can do a lot. You can become like a gardener, an entertainer, a hacker. What else? Well, that's it, but that's, well, it's only like four options, but it's a good variety of options. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of my first builds that I used cars in. I used the cars to fill up, fill up, to fill up the space. I thought, why not? Because Oasis Springs, the like background areas, they're so filled with cars. There's cars like everywhere. So I thought, let's do it. Let's add in a free car. It's just this nice little, what would you call it? Truck pickup? Truck? Ford? Car? <laughs> Four wheel drive? I, I don't know. Do not ask me about car nonsense. I tried to get these hedges to work, but they do not, they do not work at all. So I substituted with these little small hedges. And then that's pretty much it. I put in this fake table, but then soon realized I want a real table and I can afford it. So I do, I do, I do put in a real table. Yeah, it's there. Not to brag again or say it again or to repeat, but there is a lot to do here. I love this lot. So cute, so versatile. Oasis Springs is beautiful. Oasis Springs needs more credit in the Sims community. I'm sick of the slander. Unpopular opinion? Oasis Springs is better than Willow Creek. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, I said it. Who else was gonna say it? I said it. And you will listen. Willow Creek, it does have good townies. Like the Goths, the Pancakes, the BFFs. I didn't care about the Spencer King Lewis's. I'm sorry. Um, but does, do, but does, does Oasis Springs not? Like the Land Grabs, Johnny Zest, ooh, touchy, touchy subject, the Calientes, and I'm pretty sure all the lots in Oasis Springs are better than the Willow Creek ones too. So yeah, Oasis Springs is better. That's, that's my opinion. And you can take it as you will. Alright, I'm finishing up the lot, adding some traits, grody, so it's a bit grubby, it's a bit gross here, good soil, and yeah, here it is in the sunset, which I think is really cute, I think I'll use that as the thumbnail, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, peace!